All right, friends, we are here two days later. We're taking pictures right now for all the stuff going up on Etsy on Wednesday, March 25th. Uh, and the pot is done. It's in the kiln. It's at 120 degrees. We are about to open it. All right, you ready? Maybe we can put Rory and Ryder both. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We're in the studio and today we're glazing this giant planter. So both on Instagram and YouTube, I asked you guys what you thought we should glaze this. And a lot of people said Northern Lights and a few people said it would be cool if we all put our handprints in it. So I think that's the plan is we're gonna each like paint wax on our hands and then put like our whole family's handprints on it and then glaze it Northern Lights, which I still don't really know exactly how I'm gonna do that. Uh, but we're gonna figure it out. Here we go. Here we go. Let's paint our hands. All right. Let's do it. Boom. The first one. That's Ryder's hand. There's my handprint. Nice. Ready? Yep. You gotta stretch out your arm, your fingers, bud. All right. Well, that'll work. Oh, there we go. Now we just gotta glaze it. Okay, so figuring out how to glaze this thing, I've spent a couple hours just thinking about it. And as of right now, I think I have this little thing set up so it's kind of spinning. So I'll just pour it and then it's kind of tipped down so that hopefully it'll just run right off into there. I really have no idea if this is gonna work or if as I spin it, it's just gonna like go all over the place, but. We are going to try it. But it worked. All right, so what I'm doing on the inside here, trying to get some drips going. So I'd really like to pour this. Maybe I should get easy for this. This. Oh my God, this is gonna be so messy. Okay, and then. Like just go like from there. Yep, and then we'll just do it slow. Right there. Yep, it's right there. And I'll just spin it. Dead move. Dead move. All right. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> Ready, bud? Oh. All right. Last one. Okay, the same amount, like overlap. Yep, if you can, just like slightly overlap it a titch more. So just come okay. over a little bit more. Okay. 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 So then, yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay.
so we have it done. We have the planter glazed. Three layers, northern lights. Should turn out and hopefully look kind of like this. Only way larger with handprints waxed out of it. So, all right, so we will load this in the kiln and then we shall be back in a couple days to unload it. All right, see you there. Video. Say, we'll see you there. See you there. Then cover the, cover it. Put your hand over it like dad does. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends, we are here two days later. We're taking pictures right now for all the stuff going up on Etsy on Wednesday, March 25th. Uh, and the pot is done. It's in the kiln, it's at 120 degrees. We are about to open it. So, since this is like a family pot, my, uh, my wife and Ryder and Rory are all coming out to help me unload it. If you're interested in buying any of these pots, which you can't really see right now, check it out on the Etsy restock. Some sweet stuff. All right, Ease, where are you? Woohoo! Right here. I right here. You ready, bud? Where did the pot go? Pot in here. Pot in here. All right, Ryder, you ready? Go up here. You want to get up there? Okay, wait, for two yeah, days ago. Yeah, that was yesterday. Cool down quick when you only got one thing in there. Keep it back. All right, you ready? You want to see it? Yeah. All right. I look you ready? Not think I look All right. Here we go. Okay, wait, wow. Watch. Be careful. Is it hot? It's a little. It's, it's warm. Get warm. Get warm. Get warm. Yeah, it's warm. You can hear it pop. You hear the little. All right. Should we look at the hands? This hand. is dad's hand. This is dad's hand. And this one's my hand. That's very cool. That's awesome. And the inside, super cool. Woo! All right. A little windy out there so we're gonna come inside oh well, you guys you watched you've seen it the whole process of making this planter so from when we made it on the wheel and that took like two days on the wheel and then we fired it and then we just glazed it and we got our handprints so let me know in the comments what did you guys think of the planter how did it turn out I think it turned out pretty cool I'm kind of excited about it uh, thanks for all the suggestions about how to finish it thank you especially to uh, I can't even remember who it was that had our handprints on it, but that was a very cool idea and I love it. March Madness is over. We have a winner. The Northern Lights. The Northern Lights glaze, the glaze I've been doing forever. Speaking of Northern Lights, we do have an Etsy restock coming up. We have some Northern Lights glaze, some Minnesota Mogs Northern Lights. We got a bunch of cool stuff. This one pretty much got second place. So the championship was this glaze versus the Northern Lights glaze. It was a mug. But we have some of the tumblers going up. These are very cool. So anyway, thanks everyone for playing along. Uh, tune into a future video. We will have the, the five people that are gonna win one of those mugs. I'll probably do some videos about making. So we're making 10 mugs. We're gonna give five away on YouTube and then we're gonna give five away on Instagram. Oh, thank you guys all so much. Thanks especially shout out to all the patrons. Uh, we have like 105 patrons on Patreon and you guys uh, super support John the Potter. I can't say thanks enough. 
Um, I just sent out a message today that was kind of like, you know, the last week has been probably the most dynamic, uh, like every day some new crazy things happening and it's definitely been the most disruptive thing in my business that I have ever seen. So I've owned Mocha Monkey, the coffee shops for the last 10 years and I've never quite seen anything like this virus pandemic that has uh, affected us so much on so many different levels from different stores to different hours to like trying to figure out day to day how we're gonna manage things to just like kind of stay in business, which is just crazy. If you would have told me a month ago that I would be managing the coffee shops to just keep the lights on, I would have said, that's crazy because we've always, we've always done really well, but things are kind of crazy right now. So, and I, you know, I know that tens of thousands of small businesses like mine are in the exact same position. So I would just say, go support your favorite local businesses. Every, like all the small businesses, the mom and pop places, the pottery places that sell stuff, the coffee shops, the restaurants, they're all struggling right now and whatever you can do to support them through this time, if you want them to be around long term, if you want them to be around after this pandemic thing is over, uh, then they really need your support right now. So I'm my community has helped out a ton. People are shopping local, shopping at Mocha Monkey. Um, but yeah, we everybody's kind of struggling right now. So the, the, the people that you care about, the communities, the businesses that you care about, I would just so encourage you guys to go out and support them um, and support me too if you if you so desire that. You can purchase us on Pottery. Um, I was just saying that the patrons on Patreon, if you can support us over there, uh, as well as we just added coffee beans. We're on the Mocha Monkey website, themochamonkey.com. You can order coffee beans from there. So anyway, I can't say thanks enough for all the support that I've gotten and from you guys and from the patrons. All right, that's enough of me rambling. Uh, but I've had a lot of stuff going on in my head. Maybe I'll make a full video about it because um, this time is crazy. If you're a small business owner, this is uh, unprecedented times. But super fun to make this planter. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe, like, comment. See you guys in the next video. Okay, how do you turn this off?